Everybody, welcome to once again da, 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 the Brony Show, episode two hundred and ninety-one. I am your host, as always, here to bring you all the fun and frivolity of the Brony community for this week, Circuit Maine. I am also joined by a wonderful cavalcade of friendly, crazy people. They're going to be joining me in some of the craziest shenanigans that we can do for Valentine's or hearts warming. No, hearts and hooves. Hearts and hooves. What? Everything's got a lot of H's in Equestria, doesn't it? Hearts and hooves. But, yes. We are joined by Toa Koi. You got the show notes again. No, I didn't. I have them. I just didn't share them. It's all his. Mine. Oh, mine. <laughs> Give me a second. But, yes, we got Toa, who uh, has to correct me. We also have joining us from the Flagstop pre-show, uh, Coal Dust. Hi. Yeah, I didn't roll that off the tongue very well. Uh, yeah, no, it didn't. Uh, I can't believe that it's like, you said it's 291 Two, again? 290, no, 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 it's 290 last week. Uh, well, you said it, we are back with 291 again. So I didn't realize we were doing it twice. I didn't know we could do that. Damn. Did I say again? Okay. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've already done a little bit of pre-gaming here. I've had a few beers. Also, I had to sample some of the uh, liquors I had to see which one I could actually take straight shots from. Well, don't worry about it, Circuit, because the nice thing is that just means when we get to episode 300, we can stretch it out over the course of a few weeks to really make sure that we celebrate it hard. We're probably going to have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably going to have to celebrate that sucker hard because I don't know if we'll ever top that. Of course, I said that at that 200, and I said that at five years, and I, I say a lot of that, don't I? Mm. Wait, by never top that, do you mean, like, never have another episode afterwards? <laughs> No, I mean, like, well, maybe, who knows, we may never hit 400, who no, for all I know. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, I suppose. <laughs> well, and, and it's not that I'm being realistic or crazy, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what the future will hold. I hope for the best, but I gotta be prepared for whatever happens. But, in any case, uh, we also have joining us Deathlight Productions. Hey. And also Suki of the Otaku Ascended. Yeah, I'm here. And as I mentioned, we are here to bring you all of the fun of the Brony community. However, you may notice we are missing one of our normal players here. Unfortunately, um, good and bad news. Tech Stallion has landed a job. And unfortunately, the work of his working will keep him away from the beginning of the show. However, he will join us for the later half. But that just means more time with the rest of us. And I'm sure you guys are all happy for that. Or you should be, dang it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get started here. And we're going to get a little warmed up with uh, Bro What's Up Brony here. Of course, to start off uh, with What's Up Brony, um, kind of, uh, well, we're trying this now announcement. So I recently switched over to Streamlabs OBS, as you can see right here. Granted, I don't know if we'll stick with it or if we'll go back to the um, OBS studio that we were using previously. This is actually the second time using it. We tried it out yesterday for the Let's Play. So far, it's been pretty good to me. At least it's been a little more cooperative than, um, OB than OBS studio at times. I still have a few things I need to work out, though, on it. But we'll see what happens there. As for everything... Yes. 
uh, Chaos is Kai. We are not discussing Season 8 at this point in time. We'll wait until it's just around the corner to start delving into that. We'll get into Season 8 in a moment for obvious reasons here, but... Yeah, for the moment, try not to delve too much into Season 8 for the time being, but we will, again, we'll get to that in just a moment. But let's go ahead and um, let everybody else get their uh, shoutouts in. Uh, so, what's up, Ronies? All right, shoutouts time. Shoutouts to Winchester Wednesdays, which happens on Wednesday. No, no, I mean, <laughs> that, oh, what's up? Not a bad way to get up there. Dang it, Cole, what's up? For me? Yeah, what's uh, up, Brony? Well, uh, I did draw. Yeah, yeah, I can see the sky. What's up, yeah. the sky? Yeah. We all die a little inside now, thank you. You're welcome. Well, at least he's being honest about it. <laughs> okay. So, I found a picture of Rainbow Dash sitting on, like, a slice of bread with, like, peanut butter. I what? don't know why. Uh, it, it exists in Derpy Boru, this, which I guess answers the question as to why, because it can exist. Uh, there... I, I'm go no, God, God, with Derby Baru, it's kind of one of those things where if they if it's possible to exist there, it will probably will. But the thing is, it's actually well drawn. Huh. Okay then. Uh, but yeah, no, it's all all, all the same. Confusing. Uh, I don't know why it exists. Uh, I was basically just looking up uh, peanut butter because I was looking for pictures of amethyst. Ah. Because you know she was the she was the pony with the peanut butter. You remember this, right? And then Rainbow Dash tried to open it with her mouth. And yeah. And we found out the lengths that a pony's jaw can go to open up a peanut butter jar. And we also found the length the pony will go to try to seek attention. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> also, that if you just want the lawn to be mowed, uh, just seek out somebody who's looking for attention. There you go. Uh, yeah. That's how, that's how you get it done. But just be careful, that law, that law might be a danger of being an inch too long. Yep. Alright, uh, so in any case, does anybody else have any other quick what's up, Brony? Well, I just kind of, I got sick over the week, but I admit I'm doing a little bit better now, so. Alright, sweet. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and move on then. Let's uh, move on to the news. We do got quite a bit of news, and as mentioned, we're going to jump right into Season 8 news. Now, it has been advised that Season 8 will begin March 24th, a week, and another week, and then a whole month. I almost wanted to say week and a half, and that's completely wrong. It's a month and a half. Why, uh... oh, yes. Man, it's like four days after spring. It's four days after winter wrap-up. I know. They, it, they... Starts on the, it starts on the exact same day we start doing our um, car show. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, the Brony Show does not have plans to stream the episodes this time around. Um, complications and all that. Um, uh, how about the Otaku Ascended, though? Well, yeah. Yeah, we're, of course, going to be doing that. All right, so we'll probably be restreaming off the Otaku Ascended once again. Besides, they're awesome with it. They do great stuff. You should, do, you should watch it with the Otaku Ascended. They're entertaining. They show Little Pony videos. We show whatever the hell we want. Exactly. Whether you like it or not. Exactly. They do whatever they want, and that's what makes them entertaining. Yeah. Actually, they're not airing it in March because of leaked content. They're airing it in March because it's done. I think. I would hope. One would hope and pray and think. Probably. Uh, here's, here's the thing. The leaked content, who's, who's to say the leaked content isn't from the early part? To be perfectly honest, who's to say that they didn't freaking leak it? You know, I, I'm not going to delve too much into that. I've heard everything from Russian hackers to Chinese hackers to they just leaked it. and Especially could since... A, could have been American hackers or are we too incompetent? No, I think we just... Too incompetent. No, we're, <laughs> we're too distracted. I mean, we're trying to deal with a, with a screening turnip that's in office right now. No, it's it's not a screaming turnip. It's a, um, a screaming pumpkin. Yes. No, because you see, pumpkins are actually cool. Okay, Screaming Cantaloupe? Stale Cheese Curl. We'll go with that. Stale Cheese Curl. 
But yeah, no, I I don't it's I don't think we're lazy. I just figure well that and um, we're probably a little more paranoid about the fact that if we do hack, they'd probably find us a lot easier than if you were across this damn ocean. Have you ever taken a cheese curl, broken it in half, licked both ends, and then stuck it back together? No. No. Let's move on. Let's move on before this starts getting weird. Too late. It already kind of has. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. <laughs> yeah, so uh, March 24th is the Season 8 release. And yes, we will be showing... The, we will be talking about the new episodes. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. I'm excited. And also nervous as hell because I did see some of what's coming down the pipe. Mostly just from the preview that was officially released. I ignored all leaked content. And yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared, man. Well, if it makes you less scared, I can link you that picture from Derpy Boru of Rainbow Dash on bread. No, I, I think I'm already um, absorbed enough of Rain... Why? <laughs> Wait, actually, that's that's not even Rainbow Dash. It's Rainbow Blitz. No, it's Rainbow Dash. It's our R63 Rainbow Dash. Look at the tags. Yeah, Rainbow Blitz. Okay, fair enough. But whatever. <laughs> it's, it exists. And I think that it's worth showing to our regular viewing audience. I don't. Ah, uh, god damn it! Why am I so? <laughs> it might be because um. There's so many uh, questions. Whatever, the jam that they make, or it's made out of flake or whatever it is. It's the Zap Apple Jam. Yeah, it's Rainbow Dash Jam. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there it is. Now we we'll move on. Let's move on to the news here. More, more news. Anything new? Any news? I already talked about that. Okay, next. Uh, Raycord Legends has released a piano writing level demo. So, the awesome Raycord Legends that we've seen a few previews of, um, actually probably about a year ago, if not more, which looks really, really awesome, has actually released an actual playable demo. I did test it out a little bit earlier today. Worked just fine. So, next week, along with Pink Marmalade and, of course, the dating simulator that got a demo... We're going to be demoing this as well. So, three games for the price of one next week. So, prepare yourselves. It's going to be a lot of hilarity. Hilarity. Accelerity. The silliness will be there. Acceleration? Acceleration. So, who's ready for Pony ma uh, Mashmallows? Pony Meadows. Yeah. No. Uh, it's, peeps? it's not a peeps, and I'm not even sure how to call it. They're from Mashems, and they're called Mashmallows. Squeezy little pony figures. Twelve in all. Oh, uh, yeah, those things. I think I, I'm pretty sure they're in... I think I saw them in the store. Well, yeah. they're made from Mashems, who's already released a bunch of other pony stuff, but... Yeah, like the fashions, like the really squeezy fashions, but apparently these are a little more marshmallow and square-ish. Will, will they dissolve in hot cocoa? They might, actually, but I wouldn't test it. I wonder what happens if you put them in the microwave. They probably would also melt, too. That awful idea. What can we put in the microwave a pony? Yeah, but you... Have you ever put a peep in a microwave? I'm not drunk enough for this already. Now, if you put a peep in the microwave and also put it on top of a graham cracker and some chocolate, you can make a really fucked up s'more. It's like the peep is like half alive. <laughs> okay, moving on. Applejack is getting her own DVD. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad she's finally buying one. I didn't know she had a DVD player. Yeah, apparently... You need that. Apparently she was uh, upgraded after a while. Oh, well, it... you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave the chat up there. I think it'll be fun. So chat, you get to be up here for the news. Don't take, don't abuse the advantage. And that obviously is not the right thing here. Okay, sorry. Still learning. Here we go. So yeah, still learning the uh, client here. So Applejack gets her own DVD, which is surprising that she has enough episodes of her own to do it. Okay, that, that was an old season joke. I, there's more than enough at this point. But yeah, Applejack's Day Off, Leap of Faith, The Card Before the Ponies, Pony Point of View, and Where the Apple Lies. And 
interesting smattering of episodes. Well, it is Applejack episodes. Da, 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 he da, had da. a fair few. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Even> far between. <laughs> a far and few between. Also, a big shout out to Dale Grist, who's um, uh, jumping around in the chat. It's awesome seeing you, man. All right, let's go on. Now, we've heard, talked about the Ponyville Mysteries with scootaloo Yeah, I made the horrible joke. I don't, I'm not taking it back. Fuck, fuck. But yes, after the Legends of Equestria comic series is over, the My Little Pony Ponyville Mysteries is now the next comic mini-comic series to come up. I gotta admit, I kind of like Sweetie Belle in that detective's outfit. It does look very cute. Right? So, Ponyville Mysteries will be the first one. And here's uh, the tentative uh, the tentative title here. Welcome to to a new series of mystery and intrigue. The Kitty Mark Crusaders discover their inner detectives and solve crimes. Nobody, no pony else can. Will they be able to discover who is stealing supplies from Ponyville Hospital and get their schoolwork done at the same time? Stay tuned for partial excitement. It looks like the nurse is about to jump out the window. I'm not sure how to feel about that. She had a long day at work. Then again, ponies can withstand much more of a drop than people, so... We, we've seen this before. Especially Pegasi, which she's not a Pegasi, but even so. She's an Earth Pony. She can handle a rough landing. Yes. Yeah. Just remember that with this plucky um, young group of detectives, one of them must constantly feed on snacks. The other one is part of a band. And one of them is constantly high, though they will never, ever admit it. So it's D&D. &D. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drunk. You're drunk. I'm not drunk. You're high. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I am looking forward to it. And I am going to be picking up these comics as they come out. So we will probably do a review of them once they do come out. I, I am kind of excited. I do like mysteries. All right. And them fighting herds has announced their voice cast for the game. That's right. It's going to be voice acted. And surprise, surprise. Tara Strong is one of them. To be honest, to be specific, Tara Strong is Arizona the cow. He's the Applejack. Well, yeah. Which, admittedly, it it is kind of funny. It would have been more hilarious if she was the twi if she was the uh, Twilight spinoff. But um, no, nah, that would have been too simple, right? Too she was wrong. Oleander. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, a lot of different voice actors listed here. And, uh, yeah, if you want to check out their pedigrees, um, you can go ahead and do so. But it is kind of fun to see Tara Strong is getting involved with this as well. No, oh. Tara Strong and voice acting is, isn't exactly an un, not unsung combo here. Oh, but then again, she needs more money after the family option. Let's leave that one alone. Anyway, so um, they, that's uh, coming up down the line for Them's Fighting Hoods. And finally, in uh, update news, Game Off's My Little Pony Mist Main update it has been announced. So if you're still playing the mobile game, the Ponies of Legend are slowly trickling in. Of course, they recently also did a Valentine's update, which... Kind of went by the wayside, it's going on for less than a week, and at least for me it's going on for less than a week, and it's basically screaming, farm the hell out of your life or pay us money, which is really pissing me off a bit. As CMC once said, this is greed lock, not game lock. Yeah, it is. And chat room is going wild with Scooty Looty Loo. I did that on purpose, damn it. Seriously, I, I it kind of rolled off my tongue for some reason. I have no idea why, but I just ran with it. Anyway, along with that, there are a few other snippets of news in the new, in our um, show notes here if you want to check them out. Mainly um, more merchandise, including a lot of Season 8-themed um, merchandise and, uh, of course, a Swordsfield Maker gummy. 
However, let's go ahead and move on to the challenge of the week, which was ponies and cyberspace. Of course, we also had the um, protest initiative challenge. Yes. Yeah, I'm surprised I remember that too. Which I don't. <laughs> which had something to do with um, gummy. A bucket of worms and the declaration of pony dependence. Uh, hey, you are wrong. Oh, okay. What did that have? What was that then? Pinky and paint. Ah, indeed. I may have remembered the um, protest initiative challenge. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to make fun of it. <laughs> okay, moving on. So yes, pinky and paint. So let's go ahead and go through our submissions. And we also got a writing submission done by Crimson the Wolf. Sweet. And we also still have the other writing commit what that was done um, last week that we only... That is now nine pages long. Okay, um, that's going to have to hold on to another time when we can actually read nine pages long. My God. Actually, we may have to make an episode out of that, to be honest. But let's um, let's get back on track here. Nine pages! What the hell? <laughs> okay. Which one is that one? Um, a, a flyer out of place. Oh. Okay. Anyway, uh, right, back back to track here. So let's go ahead and start with um, our, our favorite, Dr. Bristle. Who brings us this oh right right that now i remember i i actually got the reference but i couldn't remember the damn reference but yeah it's the mystery inc phantom virus that was actually one of their movie series back when before they finally started reviving scooby-doo for season after season after season oh the don't you mean scooby-doo and the cyber chase because that yeah that's it that, that was the beginning of the yearly movies, actually. Yeah, yeah but was that before they actually started um, basically re renewing like constant seasons of Scooby Doo? Uh, no, it was. Oh wait, no, no. Cyber Chase was the third of the new generation of Scooby Doo movies because first you had Zombie Island, then you had Witch's Ghost, and I believe Cyber Chase came after that. Yeah. And then and then it's the, and then I think from there the animation studio got handed off, and that's when we really got into the yearly releases. Uh, I think it was it was quite a few years after that was when we started getting a couple of the new Scooby Doo revivals. Right. New Scooby Doo yep. and Scooby and Shaggy get a clue. Uh, there was also Be Cool Scooby Doo that recently happened. What really? Yep. Oh yeah, that's the, they in, fact, die. in fact, that's the uh, Be Cool Scooby Doo's the Seth MacFarlane one. I Seth MacFarlane. Okay, now I have no idea what to make of that. Oh, okay. Wow, actually, it looks like a it looks like a cutaway from from freaking Family Guy. Yeah, well, apparently, uh, from what I've heard, it's not the it's not the best. I doubt it would be. I mean, it's Seth MacFarlane. Unless he's allowed to be as crude as possible, it's probably. Well, the thing is, though, is that here's the thing: Seth MacFarlane, for as much of his humor is, when he talks about animation, he has a he has a big respect for the old school stuff. Thing though, he mm -hmm. his humor is the only issue. His love for animation and his style is fine. It's just the humor. Actually, I think we just got the be the best thing right here. There's just um, an image of all the different yearly Scooby Doo's that have come out so far. Yeah, we're, we'll just keep that up there for a quick moment. Um, but yeah, essentially, yeah, that okay. Quick moments done. Um, we got we got way off track here. But yeah, this is a basically oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a Sco it's Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Getting back to this, it looks like um, the cyber demon, the phantom virus, whatever the hell you want to call it, is is a hand drawn. While Bristle is the normal vectors, and Pinkie Pie is the normal pasting. Though I do gotta admit, I kind of like the whole rocket jetpack thing. Okay, so it's really to that in the small. It's really small, but you can see that Pinkie Pie has a uh, a a paintbrush. I, I'm not sure if it's a paintbrush. It kind of looks like a digital trail. Oh, no, wait. It is a paintbrush. 
Yeah. Okay, I I will I apologize. I thought that was like some sort of weird digital trail she was leaving behind. Why did she have a paintbrush? Because, uh, because Pinkie Pie and Paint. That that was the protest initiative challenge, which I guess does fulfill it. Uh, <laughs> I am very much saddened that it, it it lands in the background as opposed to the normal challenge. So congratulations, you get full credit, but at the same time you give me tears. <laughs> well, let's not let him cry anymore. Let's move on to Deathlight Production. First off, we have his pony in cyberspace. This one feels a little bit more on the grungy side. Uh, definitely has the pony and what looks like cybernetic, basically um, uh, an androidish um, or cyborgish uh, pony. Cybernetic enhancements. We'll go with that. Do you, do you, are you disappointed by your lack of metallic skin? Do you wish you had more USB ports? Do you wish that you could become your own personal hotspot? Well, then so do we. For, then sign up today for cybernetic enhancements. Ask your doctor if cybernetic enhancements are right for you. And if your doctor says no, then go online to our website where you can download a better opinion. And please remember, know... Th Please note that oh, side effects. Still a thing in the future. <laughs> Please note cyber the si side effects of cyber enhancements include constipation, nausea, digestion, upset stomach, diarrhea, lapse of comatose, lapse of intelligence, lapse of thought, lapse of reason, lapse of horniness, lapse of actually being able to be a man, woman, child, or anything else in between, lapse of being able to have a sexual accomplishment, lapse of lapses, and also diarrhea. There's a lot of diarrhea. You feel rather unfeeling because of all the metal that is now part of your body. You might feel a bit cold, but that's okay. It's normal, and it is what is right. Nah, it's just a diarrhea. It's really also, <laughs> yeah, what is Roll right. I feel offended. You see, Toa, <sighs> basically by diarrhea he means when you need an oil change, and by oil change I mean when you need your. Uh, Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so going on to the pinky and paint, we have the five-minute challenge of a pinky in a paint can, holding I a brush. Was so sick when I when I did this, I just stopped caring. <laughs> uh, in all honesty, I I could see that. I could definitely see that you were struggling there. Yeah, and what I originally wanted to do was like like I said before we started was um pinky in a in a paint booth, um spray painting like a part or something. Because I've, I've done that quite a bit. I know, like, all the hoses, where all the hoses go, and stuff like that, so, but... So yeah. you know where all of Pinky's hoses go. Well, I see who takes the, 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 the main events area when it comes to these challenges, I guess. Gosh. It's a well, protest... To go back to my corner. It's uh. a protest initiative. All right, so, and now for a little bit of meta humor with Toa Koi. We have... Yes, so we have ponies in cyberspace. Of course, we have me and what looks like Darth Vader gone retro. I know it's in, it's inspired off Tron, but it, it kind of looks like a Darth Vader helmet a little bit. Of course, we got Toa there, and we got um, Star Fox in a in a Thundercats outfit. I have no idea what that's all about. Dad, I actually did that for a request. Someone wanted him as a a caped knight. You know, like those old knights in capes that would just be chivalrous and the like. Yeah, so, no one wanted me to draw that. So I did, and I included it here for the meta joke. And the meta joke is Pinky using paint. Or MS Paint, to be specific. Which technically is no longer a thing. You all hurt me so much this <laughs> week. <laughs> Jeez, did I did I piss in your Cheerios? I'm sorry. Dude, come on! I like the pun. It's awesome. <laughs> come on, you can't. I kid, I kid. <laughs> well, like I said, I got sick. These normally my first piece is on my warm up, then I go and do the complex one. I want the paint one to be the complex one. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, and finally we have Mike Nice who has a p cyberspace pony or a space explorer determining the. Uh, exploring beyond the digits. Now I gotta admit, this this one looks really awesome. It's, it's kind of like a it, it looks like a mix between um I, I don't know it looks like something you'd see at the beginning of a music video. Ooh, that is nice. I know, right? There we go. Now I got a closer. Yeah. 
But yeah, leave it to Mike Knight to take it in a completely different direction. It's awesome. Hey, I gave no, you a loading. Not, not to... <laughs> Not to say that the rest of you guys had awesome submissions. You all had awesome submissions. You're all winners in my book. There's your participation trophy. <laughs> no, not, in not in my book, no. You all get, like, negative 12 points. And that includes you, Mike and I. I don't see any paint. I don't see any Pinkie Pie. <laughs> you all get negative 12 points. And they all go directly to the bank. No one passes go. No one collects 200. Everyone gets to go to jail. Would it cheer you up if you read the cyberspace writing challenge? Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would cheer him up. All right, so we have the cyberspace writing challenge by Crimson the Wolf. It is uh, looks like three pages and a paragraph. Uh, you already got the link there, or do, do you need me to throw it I out to you? I do not. No. Uh, where is it? At? It's in content creation. Content creation. Okay. The MLP tab. Well, if you need help, I could drop it in the backseat chat too. Content creation. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. There it is. Okay, by Crimson. Okay, let's take a look at this. There is no title. It is just what it is. Cyberspace writing challenge. So go with it. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Usually they write the title on the page too. Hmm. But it's not too much. Anyways, okay, Crimson. Here we go. I am so sorry for what I'm about to do to your beautiful piece of work. Twilight cackled, lightning arc. Or yeah, Twilight cackled, lightning arcing around her as she held the last lever in her hand. She has those? She has hands. <laughs> Spike, it's almost done. I almost can go into my computer. It will be glorious. All that information at my hoof tips. Okay, so she does have hooves. All downloaded directly into my Brian. It, it does say brain, I just felt like saying Brian. She cackled again and pulled the lever, feeding the power into her latest and greatest creation. Twilight! I, can I please just go upstairs and I don't know, uh, clean or cook dinner? I'm getting bored down here, Spike said as he closed the comic book as or he as he closed the comic book he was reading and throwing it on the stack of other comic books he had already finished yeah yeah <laughs> yeah sure twilight looked over at him and rolled her eyes come on spike i'm making a scientific breakthrough here digitizing through yeah, digitizing? Yeah, that's what it says. Okay. Digitizing through to the point of interface with a computer and being able to download any information you want to to into your brain. To into your brain. She looked at him, and he still had the air of complete boredom around him. Okay, fine, Spike. You can, but I want to go down, or I want you down here long enough to, or, oh, for me to link up with the computer and make sure nothing bad happens. If anything does happen, or if anything does, as we both already know, contact the princess and she'll help however she can. Spike groaned. All right, all right, I'll stay for a few more minutes and make sure you don't fry your brain or something, Twilight. He tapped his claw on his chin. What do you want for dinner anyways? I'm thinking hay burgers and fries. It does sound good, <clears throat> sorry. It does sound good, Spike, but I don't know how long I'll be in here. So try and keep them warm for me and I'll take as long, or me if I take long. Me if I take long? Yeah, 
I should have read this ahead of time, but I didn't know I was doing this. So there we go. She smiled and put a helmet on her. Or sorry, on that. Wait, but uh, sorry. On that. She, she smiled and put a helmet on that had. Oh, oh, okay. Comma, I think. Full stop, or yeah. I don't know. Yeah, sorry. She smiled and put on a helmet that had wires, doodads, and thingamabobs attached to it all over the place that led her to supercomputer, the same one that, or sorry, to her supercomputer, the same one that she had tried to figure Pinkie Pie out on. That's true, she did have that. That was in, like, season one. Good episode. All right. Or sorry. Uh, all right. Spike looked around for a second. Hey, Twilight, what do, are you powering this thing on anyways? Because if I remember right, didn't you have to have one of your generators shipped down here to, to, to run this thing? Fiddling with a more or fiddling with more wires and noobs. Did I skip a paragraph? No. Okay. Cool. I was <laughs> just making sure, because I looked away from the page for a second. <clears throat> fiddling with a few more wires and noobs. Knobs. That's knobs. Not noobs. Knobs. And plugging in a cord before putting her hoof on one last lever. I did, Spike. I had to have a larger one brought down here, and I got it with the money mom and dad still insist on sending me. I, I mean, noble or not, I do have a job and make enough bits for being a, li a li librarian. Librarian. Laboratorian? Lib <laughs> Laboratorian. Bombardment! Librarian! Librarian? Librarian! For the record, it is spelled completely all right. I'm just bad at reading. She turned on... Or, sorry. She didn't turn on Spike. That, <laughs> that's, a, that's a different story. That's a different story. She turned to him, and Spike nodded. All right, Spike. I'm throwing the lever now. And with a spark of electricity and magic, the world went white for Twilight Sparkle. I read that in the voice I was reading Twilight Sparkle. You're doing great. Keep at it. I believe in you. There's more? There's more after the line? Okay. Jeez. Not much. There's uh, no too Not pages. much? There's <laughs> multiple pages. Okay. There we go. Everything slowly faded back into existence for Twilight, and the existence was a white expanse going in all directions. Hello? Is that any pony there? She walked around in random directions, wondering where everything was. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Everything should be here already. She frowned. All right, I'm in the computer, or should be. So, I should be able to control it with my mind, right? She sighed and focused on the idea of a couch. And with a slight crackling sound, a couch faded into existence in front of her. Cool. She breathed. <laughs> Looking around, nothing else had changed, but she had a couch now. All right. Uh, now I want all the knowledge I have saved on the computer in neat orderly rows on bookshelves the world shrieked around her as the bookshelves started appearing grinding their way up up off the ground and there was a giggling in the distance wait pinky what are you doing here the giggling became louder and louder and more numerous a stampede of robotic pinkies came out from around the bookshelf, closing in around her. They all started talking at once. Oh me, oh me, Twilight! Ah! 
I have the smarts from your books about biology. Others were calling out the same thing, but with the subject changing with each pinky. Twilight, with her face blank from shock, bl blinked a few times before looking around. Wait, how are you all here, and why are you all here? All the pinkies laughed with one and a holographic pinky or sorry there all the pinkies laughed as one of the holographic pinkies head appeared above twilight's head oh silly we're here because you tried to figure out pinky so your computer makes us all pinkies because if something breaks the rules of equus 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 then who better run the organize the and organize or run and or run and organize run and organize a computer i'm good at this and all the pinkies giggled again twilight looked on her or looked on with horror her computer had been infected by insanity digital pinkies ran with a crazed hoof and provided her information she blinked a few more times uh, uh, all, all right pinky uh there's one thing i want to know about before i end this test uh is what you all done with the research i done on the real world pinky I don't feel like Twilight would say done that much, but oh well, hey, whatever. Uh, Twilight. <clears throat> Twilight was a little surprised when the manes of the pinkies surrounding her and the pinky holograms above her heads had deflated. We don't want to talk about that, Twilight. We pretend to be pinky, and it helps, but even we can't look at the at that research and go <clears throat> and not go insane we lost 10 pinky bots last week that the that thought they could handle it so we locked it away to the corner and we pretend it's not there twilight nodded understanding the sentence or sentiment and feeling a little sorry for her computer here I have an idea that'll help. With a thought of a, <clears throat> with a thought and a bit of magic, she summoned up a copy of Ponyville, replacing all of the bookshelves, and all of the pinkies save, er, save one. What? Well, uh, save for one. And all the pink. Though. Yeah, that. What he <laughs> said. <laughs> and all of the pinkies <laughs> save one turned into a, into the ponies in Ponyville. Yeah, that. Okay, yeah. She looked around at the digital construction around her, and the more robotics, or er, rope, the more robotic like looks of every pony. Baths. Words. Reading. Uh, I was on a roll, and then it slowly fell apart. It did go no way. It did go no way. English good. Hold on. Copy. I speak. Oh. I speak it good. No, you yeah. fool. You'll doom us all. Okay, let's do this. She looked around at the digital constructions around her and the more robotic-like looks of every pony she knew nodded and looked up at the holographic head that had turned into Celestia above her. Here, this should help. I've uploaded everything I know about the ponies of Ponyville. Some of it will be incomplete since I don't know as much as Pinky about every pony, but this should help as long as or as long as whatever program looks at <clears throat> that research has some program to talk to talk to about it and has a shoulder to cry on. You shouldn't lose any more. 
Besides, it'll probably be better for you all to have many different ponies to work with since you get more ideas to bounce the, off the walls when you ask, or when, or sorry, when I ask you to do something. That was a roller coaster. The holographic Celestia above, above her head, above her head, just looked around. Why? Because I spent years building you, upgrading you, and making stuff with you. She shook her head. And I don't want you to drive yourself insane by only being pinkies. Trust me, she's already got that covered on her own. So, don't be just pinky. Be every pony, every pony else, and don't go insane. The holographic head of Celestia shimmered and appeared in front of Twilight looking like a robotic Celestia, and she gave Twilight a hug. Thank you, Twilight. I guess being a computer doesn't make me all-knowing like I thought, because I already feel better with so many new thoughts and ideas floating around. Just promise me one thing, Twilight nodded at a digital manifest of her computer. Get me another processor. I want to have my own little sister running around. Looking up the main, <clears throat> looking up the mare in, blah, blah, blah. looking up the mare in the moon, appeared on the moon that hadn't been there beforehand. Twilight nodded and looked around. All the digital ponies milling about and talking, ignoring her, like she wasn't there. And I guess since you're going to mimic. Uh, that they can't know to Twilight. Are hanging... They can't know two Twilights are hanging around here right now? There we go. Okay, that makes sense. And I guess, uh, if, since you're going to mimic how I first encountered all my friends, they can't know that two Twilights are hanging around here now. It still did not come out my mouth right. The digital Celestia nodded. It'll help my processor to keep it that way. And now I believe that you want to head back to the real world. And with a wave of her hoof and white lightning appeared, or sorry, with a wave of her hoof, a white lightning appeared before twilight shining up into the, the night sky, which I like to imagine that this is the pony white lightning, the one that appears in the intro sequence, not like an actual lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That'd be great. Just like White Lightning just swoops down, <laughs> grabs Twilight, and throws her out of the computer. <laughs> ah! Anyways, enough of my interpretation. Uh, well, I guess this is goodbye until I use you again. Try and keep try and keep me up to date on what goes on in here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how these versions of me and my friends get into trouble. The digital Celestia nodded, and Twilight waved her as she stepped into the light. Everything faded in from white again. And Twilight looked around. She was laying on the floor, splayed out, with Spike shaking her. Come on, Twilight! The food's been ready for 30 minutes! If you take any longer, it's gonna burn! Jinkies. <laughs> Gosh, man! Actually, it would have been more zoinks. I should have zoinked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't have a kitty who can do a very good shaggy. No, effect. are you kidding? Yeah. He's doing an awesome shaggy. It's just driving me crazy not to... Not to shaggy, <laughs> that was just a voice that came out of my throat. It's a very good shaggy, in all honesty. Yeah. Fair enough. I'll take your word for it and not believe you. Getting to her feet. <laughs> Getting to her feet. She gave a stretch and a yawn. H how long was I out, Spike? He looked over his shoulder and counted to himself. Um, about two hours. And Pinky showed up and gave me a dozen cupcakes. 
She said thanks for taking care of that little problem. She was still trying to figure out how to fix it. Lily blinked again. How did she even know? Taking a deep breath, she looked at Spike. Well, Spike, over dinner and some cupcakes, I got a little story for you. And after, I want you to tell me if you can think of any reason then because Pinkie Pie, or sorry, if you can think of any reason because Pinkie Pie to explain how she knew. I, yes, th that's the end. Blank, yeah. blank, 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 blank. But that, that, that was, that was cyberspace writing challenge by, by Crimson the Wolf, which actually I'm impressed. That was quite a story with a beginning, middle and end that actually was rather good, I'll say. It was an interesting thing. And also, I guess that means that there is now a little Equestria inside of Twilight's computer that, like, is basically an Equestria that's like... It's like the conspiracy theory there, you know, the one where it's like, we're all in a simulation, everything is lies. It's like that, except for, like, Twilight made it happen, which I suppose is the best way for it to happen. I guess, although then again, seeing into her mind in season seven, uh, she does have a bit of a weird imagination, but not as weird as all of us here on the internet. Thank God it wasn't any of us. That'd be yeah. really fucked up. And then that... two years later inside of the computer. But we have some pretty sick super Charlie. soakers. All right, well, let's go ahead and you move on. The blue pill or the red pill? All right, let's go ahead and move on here. I think we've been waiting long enough for the ship fic folder. And, of course, I was having a little bit of difficulty finding Cyber Pony, so it ended up becoming a big, giant smorgasbord of Mega Man art. Go figure. But... <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. Yeah. Circuit, you almost forgot. Yeah. See, I actually, I didn't. The, I was... A, challenges. Actually, I, was a, I didn't forget. I was trying to wrap up to that before we get to there. But thank you for the segue, regardless. Yes. The challenge for next week. The next week's challenge will be ponies and discounted chocolate. Because discounted chocolate. Okay. Yep. Ponies and discounted chocolate. Oh crap! I I think I broke. <laughs> I think I broke cold dust. I I don't think you get to come up with a cyber. T uh, uh, a, a challenge, a uh, reverse challenge uh, on me. A cyber challenge? It's a cyber a challenge! Or a cyber challenge? It's a cyber challenge! No, you can't come up with now that. It's, <clears throat> now it's time for the protest initiative challenge. That, that too, yes, yes. All right, so all of you out there are listening and thinking, what on earth is he going to give us this week? I hope it's better thought out than last week. And I'm here to tell you, it is not. It is not better thought out. But because circuit implied that this is a reverser challenge then i guess i will do that and i will make this week's protest initiative challenge something that is actually really challenging shipping i want you to draw me shipping between two ponies of your choice give it to me but that's not enough as we all know because i can't just give you one challenge no no or not one challenge but one bit of criteria no no that wouldn't be me that's not how i do so i'm going to say that this week along with shipping you will also have to include suitcases <laughs> i think you broke suitcases okay. i think you broke toa there man shipping and suitcases that's uh, right. Now, whether or not that means that you take in a pony and then put it into a suitcase uh, that another pony is trying to sneak onto a uh, airship to like try to get them to be involved on their little vacay, sure, why not? Are you going to be shipping a pony with their own suitcase? Sure. I'm. That's weird, but go for it. Are you going to draw two ships? crashing into each other as well as like the 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 weird figurines at the front kissing sure go for it that's actually really creative i'm glad you thought of that um 
So sure, do that if you want to, but it basically has to include the shipping of two ponies and also a suitcase. Do what you will with that, I guess. Um, it sounds like a terrible idea, and it is, and that's why I want you to do it. All right, you heard the man. Prove me wrong. Show that it is not a terrible idea, or prove me right that it is. I am unaffected by this, and by unaffected, I mean if you if you snub this challenge again, I'm going to be so. Uh, un actually, you know what? I'm not really going to be that sad. Understanding. It makes sense. But anyways, that's your challenge, so do it. All right. If you okay. Want to, I, I guess you, you don't have to. Be, you, you're your own person. You can do what you want. I don't know. Hell, uh, draw a picture of, like, uh, I don't know, uh, a pony in a car. Sure, do that. I, I'm not going to stop you. Say that as part of the protest initiative challenge. And then you know what? I'll accept it. Why not? You do oh, you. Ponies, cars, and suitcases. Uh, sure. Shipping, ponies, cars, and suitcases. There we go. Yes. Super challenging. Pick two of the three. And by two of the three, <laughs> I mean pick two ponies to ship together and then some Use other. Use all of them. <laughs> Use all of them at once. Mash everything together. Make a YouTube mashup. I ain't doing that one, Cole. I'll follow everything but that. All right, uh, let's go Ooh, ahead. Oh, circuit, we should have a PMV competition. I, I, Although, if we do that, it would probably have to be like two months in the making because it's going to take at least one month to legitimately download all those episodes. Yeah. Chris said that too legitimately. Uh, uh, let's let, we're, let's let's let's, right. let's play let's play with the legitimate flag at least. Just to say we're <laughs> just to say we are.